TV video host today, Dr. Mamata Chitriki, and I have the pleasure of welcoming our newest and youngest member of the channel, Sophia Lee. Sophia is 13 years old and she has begun on a venture to try to educate teens and curious adults on the human body. Her series of lectures debuts on our channel in the upcoming weeks and months. Welcome, Sophia. It's a pleasure to have you. Tell me a bit about yourself and how you came up with this idea. I'm someone who is really fascinated by science, computers, and the human body, of course. I wanted to search up one place where I could find information and learn more about the body that was not too advanced, something that I could understand and comprehend. So I searched up CT and MRI imaging as these are some of the ways real life pictures of an actual living human can be seen. What I found were multiple websites on how to prepare yourself if you're a patient going in to get a scan, but no websites on information for young children like myself to learn about the images that come out of the machines, the amazing pathology one can see inside the real human body, and how one can figure out what is normal and abnormal, making crucial life-altering decisions. I wanted to open the eyes of other young curious minds into seeing the amazing human body normal and when things go wrong. At school, we learned so much about plants, cells, and bacteria, but the very thing that we are as humans, it's vastly left out of the core curriculum. What are your plans for future videos and your aims and goals? What I thought was really interesting was how I can actually see inside a real human body without the smell and gore of dissecting a dead one. Not only that, but we can see what happens when something goes wrong inside a real human body. For example, my ne next topic will be on appendicitis. Can you believe that we can actually see the appendix, which is this little worm-like structure, and see when it's normal and abnormal? It's also fascinating, and I wanted to share my fascination with all of you. Other upcoming lessons will include gallstones, pancreatitis, and other disease processes involving the abdomen and pelvis. I intend to then move on to the brain and the lungs. Tell me, Sophia, why is it that you want to educate people about the human body and its processes? I have an interest in computers, computer science, artificial intelligence, and technology. I am someone who loves to learn new things, and I feel like learning about the human body could impact a lot of people, especially by providing a simple and clear understanding of the processes involved. With the amazing technology available and images that can be obtained of inside the body, I feel that my love of both computers and the body can make an impact on the world. I want to inspire children to learn with me about topics we are going to explore. The Roman philosopher Seneca once said, what we teach, we learn. This is the reason that I want to teach others so that I may learn myself in the process. Can you expand a little bit please on the different types of imaging? Using radiological images, one can see inside a person and also perform minimally invasive procedures, such as biopsies of organs, removal of excess fluid, as well as placement of drains into abscesses, sometimes being able to avoid a bigger real surgery, which can then, in turn, avoid bigger complications. Let me now go into a few different types of imaging that are available. First, I will be talking about x-rays. X-rays use invisible electromagnetic energy beams to produce images of internal tissues, bones, and organs. Standard X-rays are performed for many reasons, including diagnosing fractures and bone tumors. This is the cheapest and most accessible form of imaging, but for the most part, I won't be talking about X-rays. I will be focusing the majority of my lectures on imaging provided by CTs. A CT scan combines a series of X-ray images taken from different angles around your body and uses computer processing to create cross-sectional images or slices of the body. A CT scan can show detailed images of any part of the body, including bones, muscles, organs, and blood vessels. CT scans are particularly su well suited to quickly examining people who may have internal injuries from car accidents or other types of trauma. Nowadays, it just takes a matter of seconds to minutes to image the whole body. Another type of imaging modality is an MRI. 
An MRI or magnetic resonance imaging uses strong magnetic fields to take pictures of the body. MRIs are useful for soft tissue characterization, meaning that various types of tissue in the body can be determined, such as blood, soft tissue, fluid, and fat. Unlike CT scans, MRIs allow better detailed imaging of ligaments, joints, and so much more. One of the drawbacks is that it can take a long time, between 15 minutes to one and a half hours. So if a person suffers from claustrophobia, they can find it difficult to be sitting inside a small tube for such a long time. Well, Sophia, thank you so much for coming on this show. It was delightful having you. I, for one, am going to be an avid subscriber of all your videos that are available on this channel, youcanbehealthier.org. Don't forget to subscribe. It is my honor to introduce the first video of this series, an introduction to the human body, which focuses on CT imaging of the abdomen and pelvis. Please enjoy.